Welcome to the introduction of Photon Unity Networking version 2, also known as PUN. This is for the second edition of PUN, not the first. If you're using the first, feel free to check out my original series, which you can find a link for in the description. You'll also see a card pop up right now over in the top right. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about which networking solution is the best, but I will talk about whether PUN2 will be for you or not, or rather help you make that decision. So the benefits of PUN is that you can use it to match make relatively um, easily. It's easy to find, you know, find users to join your matches and it's easy to create rooms and join other rooms. In addition, the API is really, really easy to work with. It's very user friendly and uh, especially beginner friendly. Photon is best if you're making a project that does not require a lot of bandwidth and will not be sending a lot of data. So if you are making a MMO, for example, first I would say don't make an MMO, just don't do it. But if you are, Photon is definitely not for you. If you don't expect that many people to be in your game at a time, uh, or instance of a game, let's say your game's broken into rooms where you may only have, you know, 4, 10, or 12 players at a time per room, then Photon will probably be okay to use. Another thing to consider, and this is a big one, is that Photon is client auth, not server authority. So if you plan on releasing on anything but mobile, Maybe maybe console is okay, uh, but definitely not PC because if you release Photon on PC, it will be very easy for users to hack and cheat in your game. Well, if I haven't scared you off, go ahead and keep watching and we will begin the series.